people. So I came home and it was it was raining at first, raining real hard. And I came home and had some lunch, and then we, the sirens went off. And um, so I said, okay. And we were told it was going to be traumatic uh, disturbance in the area. As dark clouds and rain again appears over Lancaster, Texas, it is just a reminder that two months ago there was a terrible tornado that passed through this area. Families displaced and people wondering what they're going to do next and how they're going to rebuild. Pastor Tyrone Boyd and his members of Agape Fellowship Seventh-day Adventist Church in Lancaster, Texas, decided to team up with Adventist Community Service Disaster Team to be the first on the ground to supply desperate needed items to families that were hit in the Lancaster area. When the tornado came in, we were watching the television that night and I was appalled the next morning to see the reports and to know they were so close to the church building. I was concerned about members of the congregation who lived in this area, members of other uh, congregations who were all throughout Lancaster. And when I heard about the disaster, we had to find a way to um, help those people. But since the, uh, most of the things were within three or four blocks of us, we arranged with the um, food store to allow us to come in and use their lot. They were very gracious. They parked their water truck not very far. They were distributing water, and they allowed us to use the parking lot for two or three days. The bank or the credit union president came over and, and offered any uh, donations that he could. Even McDonald's offered to feed everybody free. So we were able to assist several hundred people. Many of those that were displaced by the tornado have similar stories how they heard some rumbling in the distance, how they saw the dark clouds and heard the rain and the hail falling, and yet, somehow, they were able to make it through. Uh, but when I came out, all the people like coming out like flowers opening up in the springtime, everybody came outside, and we automatically just started hugging each other because we were alive. And we couldn't believe that, you know, this it looked like a war zone. Houses are being rebuilt, families are returning home, and lives are being put back together. This is Ken Dixon reporting from Lancaster, Texas.